Jason Tatum is a star for the Boston Celtics who is often in the limelight. Still, there is a hidden story about those closest to him. Stay tuned for the story of Jason Tatum's complex family life. This is Basketball Dive. Jason Tatum was born on March 3rd, 1998 to Justin Tatum and Brandy Cole in St. Louis, Missouri. Jason's parents were high school sweethearts while they both excelled in local high school athletics. However, they had already broken up before Brandy found out that she was pregnant with Jason and are not together today. So what else is there to know about Jason's father? Well, Justin Tatum was born on April 11th, 1979 in St. Louis, Missouri. He went to high school locally at Christian Brothers College High School in St. Louis, and like his son Jason, he excelled on the basketball court. Standing at 6 foot 7 inches tall, he was a talented player who helped lead his team to the 1997 Missouri State Championship. He also dated Brandy Cole, of course, Jason's mother, during his days in high school. Justin later attended St. Louis University, where he also played basketball on the Billikens men's team. He played three seasons worth of college basketball there, appearing in 85 games and averaging 8.2 points per game. He was a defensive specialist more than a scorer though, I'd compare him to a Marcus Smart type if you're a Celtics fan. He even helped the Billikens team to a victory in the conference tournament in 2000, which led to an appearance in the 2000 NCAA tournament. Not too bad. While in college, Justin also earned his bachelor's degree in criminal justice. After graduating from SLU, Justin went overseas and played professional basketball in the Netherlands for two seasons. He didn't last, unfortunately, though, and soon went into coaching. First, Justin served as a coach and the athletics director of Solden International Studies High School for six years. However, he couldn't resist an offer to join his old high school as a teacher, and he accepted an offer to return to his alma mater, Christian Brothers College High School, in March of 2013. It was a very exciting move for him, as he told St. Louis Today at the time of his move. Quote, it was the right move. It's a dream come true. It's something I've always worked for. It's a job I love to have. End quote. He is currently still a gym teacher and a basketball coach at CBC. He has been successful there, having won two conference championships, five district championships, and even the 2022 state championship with CBC. However, he didn't coach his son at the high school level. How many more state championships do you think he would have won with Jason as his star player? Who knows, but I can name you someone that did help Jason win at the highest level, and her name was his mother, Brandy Cole. Brandy Cole was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1979. Brandy went to University City High School in St. Louis, Missouri, where she excelled both in the classroom and on the volleyball court. Her talents were enough to earn her both athletic and academic scholarships at the University of Tennessee and several other prominent colleges. However, this dream was derailed after she found out she was pregnant with Jason. Instead, she stayed local and attended the University of Missouri St. Louis. Now separated from Jason's father Justin, Brandy had the difficult task of being a single mother while still raising Jason herself. She was even forced to take Jason with her to college classes. Remembering it later, Jason said, quote, I remember when I was younger, I would go to college and sit in the classroom and learn with her. I was bored. She would give me snacks to eat and video games, but sitting there right next to her while she was taking notes, it was pretty awful. She never took any shortcuts, never made any excuses, she always got the job done." End quote. Jason and Brandy faced a long series of pressures throughout Jason's early life together. They endured a tough financial situation and even faced the possibility of being evicted, as Jason told it later, quote, "...whether it was the heat being cut off or the water, it always seemed like one problem after another. And she was hurting. She went to her room, I could hear her crying through her bedroom door." End quote. Despite the challenges, Brandy was prolific throughout her academic career. She first got her undergraduate degree at the University of Missouri-St. Louis, and then followed it up with a master's degree in business administration. She wasn't done yet, though. She even got her law degree from St. Louis University School of Law. Now that's what I call a full-on education. No doubt Brandy has the kind of strong work ethic that has served her son well in the NBA. Brandy also helped to pass on her love for the community to her son Jason, who discussed that very subject in the Players' Tribune, saying, quote, Whatever I was doing off the court, she said, was just as important as the numbers I was putting up on it. 
In addition to homework, Mom had me get involved with volunteer work, helping out at a homeless shelter and mentoring young student athletes in our city. I would go to their practices and games, talk to them about problems they were facing in school, sometimes I would get to speak at their banquets or other team functions. Today Brandy is an attorney in St. Louis. She not only uses that training in her professional life, but she has also used it for her son Jason in his negotiations with the Boston Celtics. Executives with the Celtics have said that they've never experienced a parent with as many detailed contractual questions as Brandy did in Jason's case. I bet after the season Tatum's having this year, she'll be sure to get her son that big money. Jason also has two younger siblings, although they do not share the same parents. While Jason is the son of Brandy Cole, both of his siblings have a different mother. Not very much is known about the mother of Jason's two siblings, but Jason's brother may be on track to be the next Tatum superstar. Jacob Tatum is Jason Tatum's younger brother, and he was very into sports while growing up, playing several different ones. Jacob played basketball just like his older brother, but he did so under his dad Justin at Christian Brothers College High School. He was a successful player, participating not only at the high school level, but also at the national level. But he would later turn his full attention to a different sport. Jacob was a standout on the defensive end of the football field for Christian Brothers College High School. He was a team captain and was also part of his school's Class 6 state championship team. On an individual level, he was named to the second team All-MCC at outside linebacker, and he was also named to the first team Class 6 District 4 All-District. He also received several offers from significant collegiate programs like Butler University, Missouri Southern State University, and Benedictine College. He seemed destined to play at the next level, and he eventually committed to a school, Western Illinois University. Jacob graduated from high school in spring 2022 and headed off to college. Jacob was a freshman at WIU this past season, where he continued his football career. He is listed as a linebacker, but has yet to play any snaps for the Fighting Leathernecks. Judging by his prep career though, we think that it's likely that he will get on the field soon. That makes me think though, would Jason have been a good football player? I guess we'll never know, unless the Patriots need some help at linebacker. Caden Tatum is Jason's youngest sibling. She's not heavily involved in the news, so little is known about her, but we believe she is around 9 years old currently. Jason obviously loves his younger sister a lot, as he said in a 2015 interview with the St. Louis Curator that he was quote, head over heels in love with his younger sister, and that he dedicated his high school games to her. She has also taken up the game of basketball like her older brother, and maybe we will see more of her in the future. This next person plays a big role in Jason's future and past. Why? I guess you'll have to watch to find out. Tariah Lachelle is Jason Tatum's ex-girlfriend, though she still plays an important role in his life and family history as the mother of his only son, Deuce Tatum. Tariah was born in St. Louis, Missouri in February 2000 and first met Jason while both of them were high school students at Chaminade College Preparatory School in St. Louis. Both Tariah and Jason were accomplished athletes during their time at Chaminade, as while Jason starred on the hardwood, Tariah was a varsity athlete in both soccer and softball. Jason and Tariah dated throughout high school, but it is unclear exactly when their relationship ended. Tariah found out that she was pregnant with Tatum's child in spring 2017, and would later give birth to her son Deuce in December of that year. She remains active in Deuce's life, helping Jason to care for their son as he grows up. Today, Tariah lives in Boston where she is a successful hairstylist, and she owns and manages The Curl Bar Boston, where she focuses on women with curly hair. But that's his ex. Who's he currently dating? Currently at the time of this recording, Jason Tatum is dating British R&B singer Ella Mai. Though they keep the relationship pretty well under wraps. Still though, you could say that Jason Tatum is booed up. <laughs> Get it? Uh, if not, keep watching. You will. Ella is slightly older than Jason at 28 years old, having been born in November of 1994. Although she was born in London, Ella moved to New York City at 12 years old and went to school in the United States before eventually returning to England. Ella's early singing career included an audition for the TV show The X Factor and frequent posts on social media sites like SoundCloud and Instagram before she was discovered by a record producer. Since then, she has released several successful EPs, two albums, and a couple of hit singles including her best-known single, Boot Up, and Trip. 
She won a 2019 Grammy Award for Best R&B Song for Boot Up, and has also won several Billboard Awards. Ella met Jason Tatum sometime in late 2020, but neither of them have mentioned anything about the relationship publicly or posted anything on social media. However, the two were spotted together at a 4th of July party held by businessman Michael Rubin in 2022 to keep the sparks flying. If Ella ever sits courtside at a Celtics game, look out. Tatum might have a Jordan Poole-like explosion with that kind of inspiration, but I don't know, I think there is another fan Jason gets his inspiration from. Jason Deuce Christopher Tatum Jr. was born on December 6, 2017 to Jason Tatum and Tariah Lachelle. He is currently Jason's only child. When Jason initially found out that Tariah was pregnant, he was getting ready for the NBA draft, and news of Deuce's imminent arrival didn't necessarily come as a welcome surprise to Tatum. In a recent interview with Graham Bensinger, Tatum said, quote, I like got sick to my stomach because this was a week or two before school was ending, so in my mind I'm about to leave Duke, live my life, like have a blast, and then it's like, you know, you about to have a kid. I was selfish at first honestly, like I was more worried about getting drafted than I was about being a dad because my whole life I dreamed about going to the NBA, and the best day of my life was two months away. I didn't tell anybody, didn't tell my teammates, the coaches, or anything. I didn't want it to impact where I got drafted. I thought that if teams knew I was about to have a kid, they were going to think I wasn't focused and that they wouldn't pick me, so I was terrified. I didn't want anybody to know, which was extremely selfish." End quote. Even though he wasn't ready to spread the news right away, Jason has since gotten more comfortable with having a son at a young age. Nowadays, he appreciates the impact that Deuce has had on his life and the growing up process that the two have shared. As Jason said during a recent post-game press conference, quote, I think being able to go through this journey together because I was 19 when I got drafted, it's kind of like we're growing up together. As he's gotten older, I'm going through my career, sharing these moments, experiencing this together as we grow up. I think it's the coolest part for me, end quote. Deuce has his nickname because he is technically Jason Tatum II, hence Deuce for two. Although I bet that Deuce was also an easy name to pick given how many buckets Jason gets via the two-point shot or Deuce. When you get buckets, you gotta live your life that way, right? The father and son have shared many other things as well, even shoes. Okay, I think Jason's feet are a bit bigger than Deuce's, they're not actually sharing, but shoes do play a part in their special bond. Jason explained in a Bleacher Report video on his sneakers that he writes Deuce's nickname on all of his pairs of kicks, saying, quote, For those that don't know, I have a four-year-old son, and that's his nickname. You know, Deuce is the real superstar in Boston, and it's crazy to see the reception and the attention that he gets. When I found out I was having a child in my rookie year, never in my wildest dreams did I think that he would be as big as he is. Just his personality, and I think people recognize the relationship that we have. End quote. Deuce is almost as popular as Jason in Boston, being featured in his press conferences, on the court both before and after having games, and elsewhere around TD Garden and other arenas around the league. Having recently turned 5 years old, Deuce is getting more skilled at basketball. Celtics forward Grant Williams recently told the Boston Globe more, saying, quote, he's a great passer. He's a better passer than his dad sometimes. Honestly though, he's gotten so much better too. He can dribble with both hands now, his jump shot looks good, he's on his way, he's coming." End quote. With that ringing endorsement in mind, maybe we'll see Deuce following in his famous father's footsteps sometime in the future. I think that the Celtics could use a backup point guard, don't you? Well, we hope you enjoyed the story of Jason Tatum's family. Who is your favorite family member? Do you think that Deuce will one day make it to the NBA like his dad? Check out our other videos like this one about Kyrie Irving to learn more about the families of basketball's biggest stars, and make sure to like the video and subscribe for more.